Hi everyone, hope you're having a good spring quarter so far. We've got another tip of the week for you. If you remember last tip, we talked about accessibility. We talked about captioning specifically and that we would do your captioning in most cases for you if you just sent us the video. But the larger picture we talked about was accessibility and about how that benefits everybody in the same way that an elevator or an electronic door or a ramp benefits and allows everybody greater access to a building following best accessibility practices increases the ability of all of your students to access your materials not just those with a visible or diagnosed disability okay so let's deal with the first most important question and that is of course why am i dressed like a giant doofus well I'm trying to illustrate the point that accessibility can be quite simple. Not everything, there are some difficult things, but there's a lot of stuff that you can do that's really simple. You can do it in five minutes, you can do it on your lunch break, you can do it as you're creating the material, you can even do it at the end of the day when you're in your lounge where you've taken a big giant hit of NyQuil and you're waiting for it to kick in because you've got a cold and you wanna sleep. Not that I would know anything at all about that, okay? Um, we're gonna to talk today about alt text, alt tags. This is basically a descriptive label that goes with pictures so that if one of your students for any reason can't view the picture, whether they have a vision issue, whether they have a bad internet connection, whether the link gets broken and the picture won't load, for any reason, there's gonna be a description of that picture that's right there on the page. Okay, so instead of seeing something like photo.jpg or abc123xyz.com, GIF, and by the way, it is pronounced GIF, um, they're gonna see a label like uh, first state-of-the-art fire engine from Knox Automobile Company in 1906, okay? So something that describes what it is that they would be looking at if they could view the picture. How do you do it? Pretty simple, you just add that alt text as you're adding the picture to your content, all right? So we're gonna show you how to do it a couple of ways. We'll show you how to do it in Word, uh, and that basically applies to any Office product. We'll show you how to do it in Canvas so you can do it in your online course. And we'll even show you how to do it in Ally so that you can kind of clean it up a little bit if you've missed some and get rid of some of those red dials in your class. Okay, let's go ahead and get started. So let's start with Word. By the way, it's the same for pretty much any Office product. We just go in and add the picture. So I'm going to click on Insert, Picture, Add My Picture. And there we go. There's a bunch of different ways to get to alt uh, text. Mac actually has a link for it, but the one that works for just about anything is you right click on it and then select format picture. That'll bring up the pane and then make sure that you select the size and properties tab right there. And you'll see the alt text is right there ready for you. So I'm gonna type in fire engine and for my description, as we talked about, I'm going to put first state-of-the-art fire engine from Knox Automobile Company in 1906. That's a great description of the picture. And guess what? That's it. We're done. So I can go right back to editing my document. All right, let's move on to Canvas. It's basically the same process. I'm going to go to the page I want. I'll click on Edit. I find where I want to put my picture, and then I click on the Embed Image icon. Again, I go find my picture. I can pull a picture off of the web or from my canvas files. So I'm gonna pull down about Bates, not a good alt text, so I'm gonna call it view of courtyard at the downtown campus. Okay, this brings up a point, by the way, a lot of people ask how long should it be? Well, the cheap answer is as long as it needs to be. But the basic rule of thumb is try and keep it under 250 characters, but still long enough that it describes what the people are looking at. Okay, you'll notice by the way there's a decorative image click. If you click on that, that tells the screen reader that this is something that's there just for decoration, maybe like a banner or something like that, and it doesn't actually have to read the picture or the description. Okay, on a side note by the way, you can also change your dimensions if you want to resize the picture right here. Okay, so once we've done that, we click on update. And again, that's it. Click on save and we're done. You'll notice, by the way, I have a green ally dial. Through the magic of video editing, I'm going to erase my alt text. And voila, I now have one of those red dials you may have seen in your class. So it says accessibility score low, click to improve. So I'll click on it. It says this image does not have a meaningful alternative description. So you've got some things to help you with it. But if you know what you're doing, you can simply go in and once again, add a better description and click on save. Just a simple, just a second way of doing the exact same thing. 
click close, and now you notice that dial is turned to green. Okay, so that's how you add alt text or alt tags to a picture. Hopefully that's something very helpful and useful. As always, if you've got any comments, questions, concerns, give us a call. We'll be happy to help you out.